uh, Ms. Hoffman and Miralovich. Uh, during today's hearing, some recorded testimony will be provided via video screens in the hearing room and will be broadcast as part of the live coverage. The first video to be played is of WNEP reporter Chelsea Strub, who took to Facebook Live on Election Day to report on Luzerne County's ballot paper shortage issues. The video offers a good overview of the situation of Luzerne County in real time on Election Day 2022. While outside her home precinct in Harvey's Lake, Ms. Strub highlights in her video the problems that she and other voters in Luzerne County experience due to the ballot paper issue on Election Day. Let's play the clip. Well, I have a uh, parliamentary inquiry before we begin. The gentleman is recognized. Is this a um, witness under oath? No, uh, pursuant to uh, Rule 20, uh, we're establishing uh, procedures and taking such actions as may be necessary to carry out the responsibilities of the committee uh, and to facilitate its effective operation. So um, I'm not sure I understand this. Making the video available by unanimous consent, which is what we do with written materials, seems appropriate. Anybody who wants to watch the video at some point, I think would be you know, able to do that. Playing it is akin, in my mind, to me reading all the um, submissions in writing that we uh, typically submit for entry into the record. Is there a distinction here that's being made? Uh, there is no distinction that's being made. Uh, written records uh, may be inserted into the record, and in this case, uh, video test video uh, will also be entered into the record. Well, why don't we just have the link sent to everyone? They can watch it at their, um, at their leisure, just the same way that you do with submitted written testimony. Uh, and the, the decision of the chair, he has made the decision, I've made the decision to, to, to play. Does the gentleman have a further parliamentary inquiry? Otherwise, we will play the video. Is this, um, is this period of time, I don't know how long the video is, um, is that coming out of the five minutes by one of the members of the majority? No. So will we get the additional time that this, who's not a witness, apparently, because we can't cross-examine the witness, so this is just additional time being used. How, how do we... Uh, equalize the time that's being used to watch a video that we can't ask the person in the video any questions. Uh, and this as, is pretty, as, I've as, never seen this done before. I, I would, uh, well, I'll, I'll offer two things. The, the gentleman would be, is, is welcome to go back and look at uh, last Congress, uh, the select committee uh, that was created by the, the speaker on the select committee on January 6th, uh, did this often, so if he did not see those, um, hearings, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd suggest that the ranking member uh, take the time to review those. I would also note uh, that under Rule 20, the chair, the chair may establish such other procedures and take such actions as may be necessary to carry out the responsibilities of the committee. Uh, in the chair's discretion, uh, I am playing this video unless there's a further parliamentary inquiry. Well, I would just note that I believe the January 6th committee, which you're referring to, I think it was done by unanimous consent. There hasn't been a motion made on unanimous consent here. Uh, obviously, I can't stop you, but I do want to express the minority's uh, opposition to this since we cannot ask anyone in the video any questions. They're not subject to uh, being under oath when they give testimony. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is, but the, anyway, the, we'll... The, 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 gentleman's, the gentleman's objection is noted. Thank uh, you. With the, with the, I'm more than happy to, to take a vote um, as to whether or not this video should be played. Is, no, I just registered the, my opposition. The, the opposition is recognized. Is there a parliamentary inquiry? Absolutely. Was this uh, video uh, presented um, to, to the members of the minority in advance as the statements um, are presented in advance um, of any meeting? Uh, witnesses' names and bios are often part of the record and given in advance. Um, was this tape made available to the minority prior to uh, today's meeting? Uh, my minority committee staff is made aware videos would be played at today's hearing. Uh, there is no obligation uh, from the majority to provide uh, the videos in advance, nor but, to my knowledge was a request for the videos made. I, now, unless there's a further when, parliamentary when inquiry. When was the minority uh, staff notified that this video would be played today? There, there's, there, first, there's, there's no obligation to provide uh, advance notice. I provided advance notice to try to be as forthcoming and transparent uh, as possible to the, uh, the minority. Uh, there's no further parliamentary inquiry. We will. I, I do. Um, how is it that you are comparing a a a commission to a a full committee are very different? You're comparing apples to oranges. This is not a commission that 
you know, committee, uh, a commission hearing. This is a full committee hearing, and that yet you're presenting. May, may I ask which commission the, the gentleman is well, referring you to? You mentioned the January 6th commission. That was a committee. That was a select committee created by Speaker Pelosi. No further parliamentary inquiries uh, being recognized. We'll roll the video. Good afternoon, everybody. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Stroop here on this power broken Powerball lunar eclipse full moon election day. Now, there are some issues uh, with voting machines, voting processes in Luzerne County. Uh, and I just want to tell you what my experience was at, at the Harvey's Lake polling place. Um, also, because everything I told you yesterday about how to vote in the machines has changed for some polling places right now. Now, yesterday I went through the polling, the voting process. It's a two step process normally. You go to a giant iPad, you pick your selections, a piece of paper gets printed out from the machine below, you take it out, and then you put it in a tabulation machine into a scanner. And that is how your vote is counted. The tabulation machine will say your vote ballot has been cast. And that's the process that we've known and, and what we've been told about um, for the last few years here in Luzerne County. Now today at my polling place, I went to my polling place today at 1030 and ran out of paper at 930. And the voters here in Harvey's Lake have been voting by provisional ballot. Now. There's a lot of questions about provisional ballots, and I'm trying to get answers from the Elections Bureau, uh, but it rings and rings and rings, and the voicemail box is full. So as soon as I have an answer to some of these questions about provisional ballots, I will let you guys know. But what, ha what is happening here is we are voting by provisional ballots, so we are voting by hand and filling out bubbles. Now, there are some rules to these provisional ballots. You do not repeat. You do not sign these provisional ballots. You do not put your name on provisional ballots. You do not put the date on provisional ballots. The only thing you are writing on these provisional ballots is you are filling in these bubbles. And then the people here at this polling place are having us put these provisional ballots, a single piece of paper, into a little slot in the back of the tabulation machine. And then the poll workers here tell me that they will be counted later tonight once that tabulation machine is delivered to the Elections Bureau. Now, we did have some snafus here that I witnessed while I was inside the polling place. So for a period of time, somebody came in um, who, who labeled themselves as an IT person for the Elections Bureau, was bringing in regular computer paper to use for these ballots. They, he said that it worked um, when, when the paper was put into the ballot, went into the tabulation machine, it said it was counted. And so for a period of about 10 minutes, people were voting through regular computer paper in that process that I mentioned earlier. Then they got a call from the elections office saying, do not do that. And they went back to provisional ballots. This poll place sent somebody to Wilkesbury to get the proper stock paper for the voting machines. They went to the Elections Bureau and I'm told they found out the Elections Bureau was also out of paper. So they had to go to Sam's Club to get the right kind of paper and then we'll have to deliver it to this polling place as well as a polling place in Lake Township, Dallas Township, and I'm also hearing reports of Dorrance Township. So please let us know if you are having um, these kinds of issues at your polling places and having to vote provisionally. As soon as I know what the counting process will be like for provisional ballots, I will let you know. Some people have told me here they're worried that provisional ballots will not be counted because they have to go through a, a second kind of review because normally a provisional ballot is filled out by somebody who requested a mail-in ballot, did not vote by mail, and is coming to the polls to vote instead. Or if you voted by absentee ballot and did not um, vote by absentee ballot, you're supposed to surrender those ballots and vote here provisionally so that way they can double check that this person only voted one time. Why are you oh, jeez. So, so far, that's what's going on in Luzerne County right now. I have to go to Bucks County. My assignment today is to cover the 
Oz, uh, the Oz campaign tonight for Newswatch 16 and Fox 43 down in York, Pennsylvania. So anything that you guys send me about issues in Luzerne County, I'm going to pass along to my assignment desk and my managers and um, the reporters who are staying in the area tonight. But I just wanted to let you guys know, please come out and vote. Please come out and vote. Um, but you might have some issues when you get here to vote. You're going to vote provisionally or you're going to wait for the proper paper. Um, there was a period of time where I was, I, I was given the option to vote with computer paper or provisional ballot. And um, I was, I, I requested to wait to vote for the provisional ballot. And um, kind of caused some attitude, but. I've tried to, tried to vote. I tried to do what was best. And um, I hope it goes uh, smoothly for you guys. I hope that everything works itself out and I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as I can. Uh, once I get a hold of somebody at the elections office. But like I said, right now their, their, their phone number just rings and rings and rings and their voicemail box is full. So I'm gonna try to do what I can and uh, good luck to everybody. Again, that was <clears throat> Ms. Strub uh, with the, the local affiliate of W or the, the affiliate WNEP.